150 million poor clients have been served by microfinance through thousands of microfinance institutions all over the world. But we have still only reached 11% of the world's poor. Although microfinance has had great success thus far, we must find a way to break through and accelerate the growth and scale of microfinance institutions. There's a great potential for technology to help us speed up our poverty alleviation work. But to get exponential gains, we need to use technology more strategically. If you can only imagine the transactions that a microfinance institution that is going from 10,000, 100,000, 1 million clients has to manage, technology is a critical barrier to the growth and scale of microfinance today. We've developed Mifos, an open source application platform that makes technology accessible and cost-effective to any microfinance institution throughout the world. We've looked to the MIFOS customers to tell us about how the technology is enabling them more affordable and accessible capital to run their businesses. It comes down to centralized data that's both timely and accurate, operational efficiency, and lastly, it's a predictability. Where is the organization going in the future? I've seen a lot of poverty and it always bothered me and it was at the back of my mind that something needs to be done and uh, that is how Gramin Kuta was born. We've laid a very strong foundation. We have attracted and uh, trained and developed a large workforce, built strong relationship with our bankers and other stakeholders and invested in technology to help us achieve scale and I think these are all factors which have contributed to us being a successful mi microfinance institution. We have grown from 100,000 accounts to 700,000 accounts in three years without actually making major changes in our information management systems. And today if you see the flexibility and scalability what we have achieved, it's amazing. We'll be having a return of 5 million with only an investment of 200,000. MIFOS has helped us increase the efficiencies of our loan offices. It has helped us manage cash better and respond to our client needs very quickly. In the past 10 years, we have been growing at the rate of more than 100% year on year. So timely and accurate information is very important. And today, the investors and lenders place a high reliance on the kind of controls that a company has. Gramin Kota has a high reputation uh, with all the investors and the lenders because of the technology backup. Gramin Kuta definitely uh, considers that as an edge. We fundamentally believe that open source offers a truly innovative approach to technology, especially for the developing world. It's a shared model where you get a benefit of others' contributions a community of developers and practitioners and end users that all come together to collaborate, share information and resources, and work to create a technology that will uplift the market. Every organization doesn't need to create a custom solution from scratch. They can use MIFOS and extend it according to their needs. It's low cost, it's very user friendly, it works on very low connectivity, and uh, there is a lot of support available across the globe for the users. By working in microfinance and MIFOS, we feel that we have a direct contribution towards alleviation of poverty. We have a common vision of reaching out with financial services to the poor and the low-income households. With technology, we have been able to scale up our program. Kramin Kota has been growing, and it has been growing by leaps and bounds. Going forward, technology is going to help us to offer better products and services to our clients. This success can be repeated by anyone using the same technology.